New razors. Funny story. Found these in the cooking section in Walmart. How funny is that? But I needed them. So I realized it's been, I don't know how long, months since I've actually shaved my face. My little girl turned me on to that one Christmas when she got me a set of these type of razors for Christmas. Love them, love them, love them. Now usually you're supposed to, I have a video on this before, you're supposed to put like some type of oil or uh, some type of moisturizer or something on your face, uh, like vitamin E oil or something like that y'all, but um, this is just dry. I did it dry and um, it didn't hurt actually. Usually I try to do it dry before it will hurt a little bit but this didn't actually hurt at all. So I wouldn't recommend you doing it dry but I just was happy to go to the bathroom and I said, I don't know how I came to the point where I saw, it must have been like I had a pimple or something on the side of my face and then I was like oh there's hair around it no wonder when you start to break out you need to shave your face and some people are against shaving your face they think it's gonna come back thicker I really don't it seems like the facial hair is pretty much the same when it grows back so I really can't say it comes back thicker or not but you know, people pay a lot of money to go to these uh, spas and salons that they call it um, dermabrasion, micro, something like that, y'all, they call it. Dermaplaning. Dermaplaning? If y'all know what it's called exactly, comment down below. Yeah, all that hair on the, uh, you know, the mustache. You know, you gotta make that skin taut. You can get them hairs real good. And that forehead hair. I couldn't believe how much hair is on the forehead area. Especially my forehead area. And you gotta remember to relax your forehead. You can't tense up. All that hair right there. It's a lot of hair. A lot, a lot, a lot of hair there, y'all. And it would be nice if I could have took my glasses off, but I can't see without them. But look at all that hair. So much hair. But next time I will put some oil on there to make that glide, make it a smoother glide there. It works. And the skin always looks so much brighter, clearer. All that hair. Thanks to the little girl. Now, where'd you drop your knowledge? Where'd you find that out? YouTube? Ah, good old YouTube. I was working in the hair salon I used to do the waxing of the eyebrows and um actually we offer waxing of pretty much the whole face which included the sideburn area the eyebrows the chin the mustache all that that was supposed to be for $20 eyebrows was eight dollars I think it went to ten look at all the hair y'all I use the white washcloth just so y'all can see all that hair A lot, a lot of hair and I don't know I'm gonna have to look up and see how often you're supposed to do this so you got wiping all just the wet washcloth wiping all the hairs off yo but probably every six weeks every six to eight weeks is usually our little stilo The next day.